Hello there, it's Valerie. This week I have some pretty exciting stuff to show you guys, or at least a lot to talk about. Okay, both. So, <laughs> so, you guys know I have been working on the flamingo. And I'm getting really close. I just attached the eyes and the beak today and then the neck to the head, sorry, the neck to the body. So this is what it looks like. Take a, take a gl nice close look at it. It's pretty, okay. I say this about all of my work, but I think it's pretty cute. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Um, I, I ended up attaching the back of the neck to the body as well. Um, cause it's, if I didn't, it like, you can see the, the head is kind of wobbly. <laughs> um, so I might decide to attach the head here to the neck so that it's a little bit more secure. Um, I'm not sure yet though. I, I like a little bit, you know, like that it does have some wiggle to it because it is such a long neck and you know, flamingos are they're big, kind of awkward, kind of majestic birds. So I was kind of okay with it being a little wobbly, but we'll, we'll see as it kind of hangs around a little more. I might, I might change my mind. We'll see. So that's, that's where I've gotten on that. I have one leg. Well, my first attempt at a leg made my idea was that I was going to, um, I was going to, you know, kind of have this splay at the bottom and then I would make, individual like toes or talons um but i'm i'm a little less sold on the idea now um <clears throat> i had forgotten that flamingos have webbed feet and so you know it's not going to look like the snowy owl where it has like individual you know like talons and toes um so the the thought i have had is that maybe i will go and just like embroider little like one two three little tiny talons on there to kind of signify where that would be um i'm yeah still a work in progress so this is roughly what it would look like yeah there's enough room for both of us in the frame yeah so some, something like this and uh let me back a little bit so so we'll see getting really close there i did get the whale pattern out to testers on wednesday this week so that was good um and on my facebook page a while ago i posted a picture of the alpaca this guy right here um asking <clears throat> people if they thought i should test if I should try and get that pattern ready next because uh, my hesitancies being that it's an intermediate pattern or maybe like advanced intermediate if that's such a thing um, like to the point that I'm kind of scared to make it again because it was it was difficult and I I'm not that confident in my skills of putting that pattern to paper and being able to convey what you're supposed to do without like a thousand pictures. So I'm a little nervous. Um, but people tend to really love it. And so I'm starting, I am working on it. I, um, had a, of my best friend and I, every once in a while we will do us a uh, Google hangout and we'll crochet and talk about our lives it's the best. And I got the head started for the alpaca while we did that. So, um, I'm just right to where I need to, s to start switching to the cream color, um, to, you know, to get the kind of pocket back here for the eye. And then you switch back to the brown. Um, yeah, so I'm just about there on that. I mean, the, the head is like 
the, the head and the legs are the easiest part. What's really difficult about it, for me at least, is this, the neck, and then the body. Um, this was the first one I ever designed that stands up. And I'm honestly not quite sure how, like you're supposed to say like, to, to f attach, to finish um, an oblong shape. And so I just like cut a really long tail and just kind of like sewed it together. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't the most majestic. So that's, that's why I'm nervous about this one, but I'm getting started. It might take me, might take me a long time and it might take me more than one more alpaca. So we will see. And I knocked down my baby elephant. So, so that's where that is. I got started. We will see how it goes. Who knows? Um, and the last thing, um, a little while ago, I went to Joann's and got some new yarn. I can't remember if I showed this on a video or not. I got a, no, oh, it's right here. I'll just show you guys. I got a rainbow kind of colored blanket ball. Um, the thought being unicorn hair because I want to have a stick unicorn. I think everyone wants a stick unicorn. Um, so I've been experimenting kind of when I've had odd moments on how to make curly hair. And the, what I've seen most people do is, you know, you make a chain and then you um, increase going back up the chain. And you can do single crochets, double crochets, half double crochets. You can increase two, three, four in the stitch, you know, that sort of thing, depending on how intense you want the curl. And so it makes something that looks like this, which is fine, but for some reason it's not really resonating with me. Um, so I've been trying to figure out how I can do it a different way that I will like it better. So I made a really long chain. I don't, I don't know if you guys can even tell the difference in how these look and my lighting in here isn't fabulous. Um, so I made a really long chain for this one and then instead of increasing, I went back and just decreased all the way up. And so I, I like the shape of this spiral better. So that's kind of where I am on the unicorn hair. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm hoping the alpaca won't take up so much of my time that I can't experiment maybe with, with finishing up the uh, stick horse slash stick unicorn pattern. Um, I do still have some more kinks to work out as in with everything, um, but, but I am looking forward to it. So that's good. <laughs> so I guess kind of a last thing. Um, I did a, a live Twitch stream a while ago and then kind of told you guys about it on YouTube. And then I just haven't found time to do it again. Um, and I'm recording this on Friday. I don't know if I'm going to have time to record anything else on Saturday when this vlog goes up. But my plan is Saturday morning to, um, to do a Twitch stream and just sit and probably work on the alpaca. And if you guys want to ask questions, you guys can ask questions and I don't know, we'll have a little, little chat and crochet session. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I think I'm thinking between eight and nine, um, for about an hour. So eight to nine, Central time? I think that's Missouri's time is central time. Anyway, <laughs> uh, that'll be the plan. And I'm, if, if it works out and it works out well, I think I'm going to keep doing that just every Saturday morning plan on just crocheting and live streaming to Twitch. So if, if that's something that you're interested in following me on, you can certainly go there and like I said, ask me questions. I don't care. It can be about absolutely anything. Um, and we can just chat and hang out for a little bit. So, oh, I can't forget. I almost did until I looked down at my piece of paper. The big announcement. 
Last week I did a 400 subscriber giveaway and you guys were so awesome about commenting and um, telling me what pattern you would like. And I had my husband randomly select three names and here are the winners on a torn piece of paper because that's how we roll. <laughs> the winner of the panda pattern is da -da -da -da, panda pattern janda ferris congratulations janda and thank you for commenting next for the big elephant pattern pattern for that guy right there the winner is renna hanlon congratulations renna and the very last Pattern is for the snowy owl, and the winner is Charlene Bielman. So, congratulations to everyone who won, and thank you all so much for your support, for being here, for caring about my work, and for all of the kind comments that you leave me. I really appreciate it. You guys are just lovely. So, I will talk to you guys again next week, and I'll have more to show. See you then. Take care.